All right, what we have here is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery from Red Odo. Uh, Red Odo is the brand that Zooms used to be. And uh, we've seen all sorts of battery videos with Zoom batteries. So we know that they're pretty good quality. So let's go ahead and open up this box and, uh, and see what's inside. Okay, let's see what we got. First we got, it looks like a uh, product manual. Oh, look at this. This is nice. It's a product guide for beginners. Uh, what it shows is, uh, yeah, carefully re read through the operation guide. When you get the battery, it should be between 25 and 40% of its capacity. Uh, that's how all lithium ion batteries are shipped. Also, you want to fully charge the battery but it doesn't say on here what a full capacity of the battery is. Uh, and then there's some avoidance, uh, how to hook it up. Also long-term storage. Uh, you should recharge it every three months. You should keep it at 50% charge when you're storing it. And it should be between 10 degrees and 35 degrees Celsius. It says it can be mounted in any direction uh, except for upside down, which is understandable. Uh, avoid uh, soaking it in water and avoid using it near fire. And it says do not disassemble this battery. So that's kind of nice. It's a nice little just a one sheet operator guide. If you want to know all about the specifics of the battery, they have this product manual. And this product manual is very nice actually. It's nice in color and it just tells you basically everything about the battery. Here we go, recommended charge current of 20 amps, charge voltage 14.4, give or take 0.2 voltage. So between 14.2 and 14.6 is what we're gonna wanna charge it to to get to 100%. Oh yeah, look at this. So you can connect four batteries in parallel and then you can connect another set of four batteries in parallel and connect those together in series. And so you can actually have eight batteries. So let's get to the let's get to the battery. Oh look at this. Alright, these are the terminal bolts. These are M8 terminal bolts. And it's nice, these terminal bolts, if you can see them, they're M8 and the washer and the lock washer are attached. So they're not gonna go, you're not gonna lose them. They're attached to the bolt. So that's that's pretty nice. And then it comes with uh, caps, so you can, it's like an insulating cap, so you don't accidentally drop something on a battery and have those terminals exposed. So that's nice. Okay. Nice foam packaging that you would expect for a lithium ion battery. All right. And there is foam at the bottom also. It's the same, same thickness. So that, that battery is, It's shipped, it's shipped very nicely. First of all, it's very colorful. Uh, you know, it's not just a, a dull black battery. And another thing about it is, it, I believe it's only 25, it's a little bit over 25 pounds. I mean, look at this. You can lift this up. I can lift this up with one hand quite easily. Um, if this were a lead acid battery, uh, I would definitely need two hands to pick this up. but. That's the nice thing about lithium ion, is nice and light. It comes with a nice strap, and the strap easily comes off. So if you're going to be doing it, if you're going to be doing it for permanent storage, uh, it also comes with cap, terminal caps. It just pop right off to protect the terminals. That those would be good for, again, if you're just storing it, you could just put these these caps right on and then you wouldn't have to worry about anything shorting out the battery by falling on it. We're going to see what the voltage is right after we got it. And it is 
All right, between 13.1 and 13.2, we're looking at between 40 and 70%. So it's probably, yeah, it's probably at about 50%. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and charge up the full, and then we will uh, do a capacity test and see if, it's, uh, if it pulls the whole 100 amps of this battery. All right, I've got this battery hooked up to a uh, NOCO Genius, uh, pretty much a trickle charger battery. Uh, I mean, it only charges at 1.1 amps, so it will take roughly 50 hours to charge this battery. So uh, I'll come back in a couple of days and we'll continue. Okay. Welcome back. We are uh, done charging the battery and uh, it took three days to charge this battery with a small 1.1 amp charger. Uh, yeah, I need to find something else because that's ridiculous. Uh, actually, my whole test setup is pretty janky uh, because this is actually the first battery I've ever tested, but I think it will give us the results that we're looking for. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and uh, start the test. I'll go ahead and show you how I have everything wired up. Uh, please leave in the comments if you have a better way of doing this test, but I should be able to pull a 0.2C uh, discharge rate from what I'm doing. So let's check it out. Okay, like I said, the battery is fully charged and I have my negative running to a 300 amp shunt, which is just a little display monitor right there. And you can see that it's, at, it's been resting at 13.6, so it's fully charged. And then it's going to this uh, 1500 watt alpha inverter, which I have plugged in two box fans. Uh, each one of these is about 120 watts, so 240 watts should give us roughly 0.2C discharge rate. And then on the positive side, I do have a 150 amp fuse, just in case uh, anything were to happen, I have, a, I have some protection on the wire. So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. It's gonna be loud because the fans are gonna be on on, on high. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to talk after that, but once I start the fans up and once I start the test, I'm gonna go ahead and do an amp reading on the, uh, on the negative cable to see what the amperage is. All right, here we go. and it's pulling about 18.6 amps. So it's a little bit less than a 0.2C, but we're gonna go ahead and run with that. So I will see you back in five hours. All right, I came down here, uh, it's about halfway through the test. Uh, it's been two hours and 50 minutes. Uh, and I looked at this monitor and I don't, either I, uh, configured it wrong because it's saying that it's only pulling 5.74 amps uh, so that the capacity is only 16.1 amp hours so far I know that's not right that's not right at all the one thing that we can judge by is the time the running time is 2 hours and 52 minutes um, and right now we're pulling 18 point between 18.63 and 18.65 uh, and then if you do the math of a 100 amp hour battery divided by 18.65, uh, that gives you roughly 5 hours and 20 minutes. So that's what we're going to be basing our, uh, our capacity on, is by time. So if it gets over 5 hours and 20 minutes, I'll be happy. Okay, uh, it is almost 5 hours in. And... Uh, I just kind of want to give you an update. It's the voltage is still at 12.6, and uh, I found out what I programmed wrong in my monitor. It's actually set for a hundred amp shunt, when this shunt is actually 300 amps. So the capacity and the energy sections need to be multiplied by three uh, to get the proper reading. Uh, the voltage is correct, and the timing is correct. 
but the capacity and the energy uh, need to be multiplied by three. So we'll figure those out as soon as this test is over. All right, everyone. Well, it's uh, the voltage is now at 10.8, which is supposed to be the low voltage cutoff. And we are right at 100 amp hours. And it looks like our, uh, our watt hours are, uh, what, almost 1200, almost 1290. Uh, there's the beep for the uh, inverter saying that we're getting uh, to low voltage. Now you have to remember that the capacity and the energy and the current are all divided by three at this, at this time. So we're gonna be multiplying all of those by three to find out the true capacity, energy, and current ratings. All right, my inverter will shut off at 10 volts, or what it thinks is 10 volts, and it says 10 volts right now. So it's probably going to be shutting off here pretty soon. But the battery hasn't shut off yet. And there we go. All right, well, there is our final numbers uh, before our inverter shut off at 10 volts, and it's, it reads a little low. And the voltage on the, on the battery monitor, on the battery did move up a little bit from, I think, 10.3 back up to 10.7. Uh, but the capacity is uh, 33.5, and if you multiply that by three, because the monitor thinks we're using a 100 amp shunt when we're actually using a 300 amp shunt. So we need to multiply up those numbers by three. Uh, so 33.5, that would be 100.5 uh, amp hour capacity in this test. So I would say it passed the capacity test. All right, well that uh, concludes my test. Uh, some of the things I wanna say about this battery, pretty much just one of the things is that nowhere in the documentation does this say it has low temperature disconnect. But since it doesn't, I would not recommend this battery for uh, uh, cold climate cabins, uh, anything like that. Um, I think that uh, if you were gonna be using it for a, a backup source, probably the best way to use it would be on a boat in some sort of marine environment because this battery is waterproof. It's one, it's, it's, it's IP65 rated. So that means it can get wet and it's not going to affect the battery at all. I mean, I wouldn't want to get water across the terminals. That might cause an issue. Um, but I think it'd be perfect for maybe, uh, I mean, even maybe like a trolling motor, something like that. I don't know if I said this before, but this battery, uh, the Red Odo brand, it's actually, a, it's actually an upgraded version of the Zooms battery. Um, the company itself has expanded out, so they, they renamed their brand from Zooms to Red Odo. Uh, and if you do want to see uh, this battery get torn apart, I would recommend looking for the, uh, the YouTube videos on Zooms. I do want to make another video where I'm going to put this battery in some very real world situations. Uh, so I hope you uh, tune in for the next video on that. And uh, I guess I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like it, please hit that like button. Um, and if you like my content, go ahead and hit that, uh, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out. If you have any questions about my, about the numbers that I got or you know how I got them, uh, please leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you so much, and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.